Back when I was a gaming YouTuber, screen recordings would sometimes be the most complicated thing to work with because the video and audio would always desync. In this video, I'll show you how to fix that problem. There are two major things to understand before starting this video, variable and constant frame rates. Variable frame rates tend to be the primary problem when it comes to desyncing issues, and the fix for these is converting the video to a constant frame rate. The definition for variable, found from Google's vast amount of definitions, is as follows. Not consistent or having a fixed pattern, liable to change. This means that we can infer what a variable frame rate would be. It's a recording that isn't locked to a certain specific frame rate and thus changes or fluctuates over time. This is where a lot of the problems that come with, for example, screen recordings come from. The audio is recorded at a constant rate, whereas the video is not. That being said, technically Premiere can handle variable frame rates. However, the correct statement to make is that Premiere cannot take a variable frame rate video and use it as a constant frame rate clip. Many users state that the file plays fine in an application like Windows Media Player or VLC, but realistically, that is probably due to the fact that all a video playing application is doing is reading a file. Premiere is conforming the file, reading it, allowing it to be chopped and changed, and adding more and more visual elements over the top of the original file. So, when put into this context, it doesn't seem that far-fetched that Premiere cannot, as of yet, properly conform variable frame rate files for use as a constant frame rate clip. However, there is a workaround. Applications like Handbrake allow you to run a variable frame rate clip through the program and change it to a constant frame rate. This means that Premiere can properly allow you to edit the file without the desync issue. Nine times out of ten, this will fix the desync problem because Premiere is now reading a constant frame rate file which conforms into a constant frame rate clip. Thanks for watching. If this video helped or you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button. Enjoying my content? Hit that subscribe button and consider sharing me on all your different social medias. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.